a little bit upscale, a little bit of a joint. That's the basic concept of Albuquerque's Knob Hill Bar and Grill, where classic American dishes and bar food favorites are prepared with a gourmet twist. The restaurant opened in April of 2008 and serves seasonal menu choices for lunch, happy hour, dinner, and Sunday brunch. First time I came here, actually, they, the, my service talked me into getting the uh, Kobe beef burger. I'm not exaggerating. I cried about like a tear or two as I was eating it. It was just that good. If you're looking for a bar and grill with innovative menu choices, a hip ambiance, and amazing specialty cocktails, you'll find it right here. Knob Hill Bar and Grill, an upscale joint in Albuquerque's Knob Hill. Well, Matt, it's really a pleasure to be here at the Knob Hill Bar and Grill. This is an absolutely fantastic place to come, and as you can see, today we're out on the patio, and it doesn't get any better in New Mexico than being able to eat outside. So. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Knob Hill. You've been here for a few years now, just yeah. celebrated your third, third anniversary, birthday. right? Third birthday yesterday, actually. So yeah, we've been here for three years, and um, our whole kind of concept for the neighborhood was was more of a neighborhood bar and grill. So that's kind of what we did here in this great you know neighborhood that's thriving well we we love everything that we saw on the menu and while you while you talk I'm gonna eat a little bit so fill us in a little bit on what we have here today I know your burger is really special isn't it absolutely and this is a premium full carcass um, steak burger so it's a full carcass blend it's not scrap meat it's uh, made from all the premium cups your ribeye your New York your uh, tenderloin so it's premium cut steak burger, all New Mexico. It's mostly raised down in Roswell. Um, but we're very proud of this burger, and our clientele seems to be very happy with the chain. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. If Matt thinks he's going to get to eat all of this by himself, he's wrong, because I, I can't wait to dig into that. And I know the same is true with a lot of your produce, too, isn't it, that it's all local? A lot of the produce we're bringing in is local, from local farms. And, uh, yeah, we try, to, we try to bring in local stuff as much as we can. Today we're having some salmon that is awesome. A word I try not to use too much, but this is awesome. And you've got some shrimp here too, so tell us about these two dishes as well. So this is a play on shrimp cocktail, but it's a grilled shrimp cocktail with a pickled red cabbage. Um, it's got a nice horseradish cocktail sauce. Um, the, the salmon is miso glazed, so it's a red miso. It's on basmati rice. Um, it's also got peas and shiitake mushrooms and a cilantro uh, pepper salad on top. Well, Matt, I've had an opportunity to sample some of the desserts here, and they are really, really good. Tell us a little bit about some of your desserts. Well, our pastry chef is uh, really talented. Her name's Esperanza Martinez, but uh, we're very proud of the dessert she's been making. Um, we just tried the uh, chocolate cake that you just had, which is pretty amazing. Um, Guinness ice cream waffle car bomb which is pretty awesome what you just tried. But um, yeah, she does all types of dessert specials on the weekends. She's always trying to new things on uh, different menus and twists. And so we're always playing with new ideas, you know. You've got a great chef here and you also must have a great bartender because they don't, you don't call it the Knob Hill Bar and Grill for nothing. This is uh, one of their specialties, happens to be a Bloody, Mara, Bloody Mary that you could certainly make a meal out of. Is this one of your specialty drinks? Absolutely, especially on Sundays for brunch. You know, we get a lot of big brunch crowd coming in for the, for the Bloody Marys and uh, they become really special to us because we kind of serve it with a little antipasta on the side and, you know, a little, like you said, it's almost like a meal. Who needs brunch if you can have a couple of these? Well, this is all fantastic, Matt. And as I said, it's really a pleasure for us to be here spending some time with you today. And I know our viewers are really going to be excited about having the opportunity to come to the Knob Hill Bar and Grill right here in Knob Hill. Doesn't get any better than this. And I think it's time now to uh, start cooking. So, Ginger, are you ready down there to get the grill fired up? We're ready. Are you ready, Philip? I'm ready. I'm ready. We'll be back right after this.